If you're wondering what is the difference between Git pull and Git pull origin master, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Git pull and Git pull origin master are two Git commands used to update your local repository with the changes from a remote repository. Let's explain each command and their differences. Git pull. Git pull is a shorthand command that combines two separate Git commands, Git fetch and Git merge. When you run Git pull, it first fetches the changes from the remote repository, origin, to your local repository, updating the remote tracking branches, such as origin, master, with any new commits from the remote. After fetching, Git pull automatically performs a Git merge to integrate the changes from the remote tracking branch, e.g., origin, master, into your current local branch. This may result in a new merge commit if there are conflicting changes. Git pull origin master. Git pull origin master is a more explicit form of the git pull command. It specifies the remote repository, origin, and the branch, master, from which you want to pull the changes. When you run git pull origin master, git fetches the changes from the master branch in the remote repository, origin, and attempts to merge them into your current local branch. Differences. The primary difference between git pull and git pull origin master is that the latter is more specific about the remote and branch from which you want to pull changes. With git pull, git will automatically attempt to merge changes from the remote tracking branch that corresponds to your current local branch. This is useful when you want to pull changes from the default remote and branch that your current branch is tracking, usually origin, master for the master branch. On the other hand, with git pull origin master, you explicitly specify the remote and branch you want to pull changes from, allowing you to pull changes from a different remote or branch than the default. Recommendation. If you are on the master branch and want to pull changes from its upstream branch, typically origin, master, you can use either git pull or git pull origin master, as they will produce the same result. If you are on a different branch and want to pull changes from a different branch or a different remote, you should use the more explicit git pull origin form. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know if we missed anything in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.